I would like to uh, introduce to the stage uh, the CEO of University of Nicosia, Mr. Antonis Polimidis, who would like to give his remarks um, and speak briefly about the cryptocurrency and blockchain the next five years. So let's give him a round of applause and have Polimidis on. Hello, hello. Here we go. We have about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. Tell me when I'm at eight. Perfect, well done. Good afternoon, everyone. Because I think we have a smaller group, I don't think I want to give remarks. I think let's, let's do this presentation together and let's, let's discuss this topic together. So I'm going to run you through a series of thoughts and uh, I'd love to see everyone's opinion. And so I'll take them in buckets. We'll start with the public cryptocurrencies, we'll go to the private cryptocurrencies, we'll go to regulatory and governmental topics and see what everyone thinks. So, five years from now is 2024, right? Is Bitcoin the dominant public cryptocurrency? Yes or, let's raise hands, who's, who's yes? And who is no? Interesting. Has Bitcoin in 2024 solved layer two Scaling, who's yes? Who is no? Interesting. Is anyone doing retail payments with Bitcoin in 2024? Who's yes? Who's no? Is anyone doing machine, machine payments with Bitcoin? Who's yes? 2024. Who's no? Okay. Has Ethereum successfully migrated to proof of stake? Who's yes? <laughs> Who's no? They're on their 11th iteration. Is Ethereum a significant finance platform like it was last year? Who's yes? Who's no? Are there, with all due respect to the non-Bitcoin, non-Ethereum public cryptocurrencies that exist today, is there a third important public cryptocurrency in 2024? Who's yes? Who's no? Has anyone launched a government-sponsored, permissionless public cryptocurrency? Who's yes? You're no on this one? Uh, nobody knows. That's why we're voting. Who's no? Who has? Yeah. And are they going to launch their own? It's in this industry, and I believe it's a shame for Cyprus to miss this opportunity because they could have got a solution also here. True. But are they going to launch their own cryptocurrency? If they start with exchange, they sooner or later, yes, people need okay. the financial so you're yes. freedom. Definitely. You're in the yes. I try to provoke no to, to fulfilled. It's been written in the Bible that prophecy has been given to the fools, so I try not to be a prophet. But I can see a lot of work in progress that they already achieve. I talk with some people there, and now definitely they are going to this direction. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Has anyone tokenized a major sovereign currency in 2024? Yes. Isn't this what you're actually trying to? Did you tell us 20 minutes ago you're trying to do this? <laughs> no. No. It's a good thing we don't have any representatives from the Marshall Islands here. Sorry, do you Okay. Let's go to enterprise blockchains. Well, let's see, this one's going to be a little harder to define. Is there more transactions in 
enterprise blockchains or public blockchains? Permission blockchains or public blockchains? Permission blockchains? Public blockchains? Not what I would have expected from a conference called Nakamoto's, but okay. Um, I'll give you three choices. This one has three choices. Where is there more activity in enterprise blockchains? The first is payments. The second is settlement of other financial instruments. The third is supply chain. And the fourth, let's call it Internet of Things. So payments, settlement, supply chain, Internet of Things. Interesting. So that was almost completely balanced between the four. It's 2024, has any major country banned public cryptocurrency? Yes? No? Has any major country banned mining? Yes? No? Are we still using significant amount of proof of work? Yes? No? Is mining more centralized or decentralized than today? Centralized? Decentralized? It's 2024. Can you open a bank account as a cryptocurrency company? Yes? <laughs> no? Will Europe have a meaningful securities token exchange running in 2024? Yes? No. Oh, interesting. Okay. This exchange will be located, and I'll give the options up front. London, Switzerland, Gibraltar, Malta, Cyprus, Frankfurt. So, London. Interesting. Switzerland. Gibraltar. Liechtenstein. Cyprus. Frankfurt. No, definitely not in Germany. Okay. Where is there more activity? United States, North America, Europe, or Asia? Uh, North America? Europe? Asia? Ah, so we're all on the wrong conference and the wrong continent and <laughs> the wrong country. I guess the Marshall Islands are closest. And in Asia, what will the activity be primarily? Public blockchains, private blockchains, or securitized assets? Uh, public blockchains? Private blockchains? Securitized assets? We're back to a yes, no. In 2024, will the mode person have used a token? Yes? That's the next question. Well, this is either or no. Oh, come on. You've got, no one's voted. So let's do it again. Yes? 
or no? Okay. So the next question, knowingly or unknowingly? And I'll give you, a, you know, if you ask if someone's a Unix user, everyone's going to say no, but of course everyone uses Unix every day, right? So, um, knowingly? Unknowingly? Will the average person have self-sovereign identity? Yes? No. And this average person that's used it unknowingly, will they have, I'll give you three choices. Used it for payments, investments, or some type of non-financial use. So payments, investments, non-financial use. Okay, well, I think I'm out of time. So I think the conclusion of the crowd is that every single question you're fully divided and I guess this is where we'll have to see in over the next five years where we end up. I was going to say you got to come back in uh, 2025 and we're going to see which ones are correct which ones are not. Guys could we have a round of applause for Mr. Apolimidis. Thank you so much.